Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm an outdoor retailer in the Jackson Kayak booth with Jim Sammons. Jim, celebrity TV guy, <laughs> now in boat designer. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your new baby here? Uh, well, this is the uh, the Kraken. Um, you is know, Kraken or Kraken? Kraken. Okay. Re release I the just, Kraken. All right, man. I got to tell you, there's a lot of talk about that. But carry on. It's a yeah, Kraken. it's. Um, you know, this was a boat that was missing in the Jackson Kayak line. You know, they've gotten into the fishing aspect. Most of their boats are, you know, designed for standing up, you know, flat water, running small rivers and that sort of thing. They didn't have a really, you know, what I call a paddler's fishing boat. Right. Um, you know, a long boat. This is 15 and a half feet and 29.5 wide. So definitely, you know, I, I, I actually said in the initial uh, proposal that if you could stand on it, it's too wide. Right. But everybody proved me wrong because they were standing on it other, the other day. So it's still a very stand up a bull kayak for those people who want to do that. Uh, for the guys who are good at standing, right. not me. Right. <laughs> but it's a paddler's boat. So uh, it's got a, a good bow flare for lifting through the surf. You know, I'm launched through the surf all the time. Yeah. It's got decent rocker. It's got exceptional glide. Um, you know, and then of course we want this to be a good fishing boat and easily easy to accessorize. Um, you know, we have uh, a new forward hatch on this boat that kept the really clean lines of the kayak. It just, I mean, it looks fast standing still. Uh, but it's a, a two layer hatch, so we have the neoprene gasketed uh, cover below that. The reason for that is we just, with, with the center console hatches now, we rarely get into the forward hatch when on the water. So I wanted to make sure that was good and watertight when I'm punching through surf. Um, the next change on this boat compared to the other Jackson boats is we hinged the center hatch. Uh, so now I can lift that hatch up and it'll so it hinge at the front so it, it opens away at the from front. You, yep. I can just boom and it'll actually stay up there if I didn't bounce it. <laughs> I'll cover for you. So there, there you go. go. Yeah. So it'll stay right up there. Much easier to get gear down inside of it. You don't have that hatch so this, hanging this off the side. Out, this liner pulls out and stuff goes in underneath. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. There is a battery tray up in there so you get that battery up off the bottom of the boat. Um, it has the new Jackson Kayak uh, foot pegs, which are considerably more comfortable. Um, but the exciting stuff is kind of back here. Okay. This is where it really gets cool. Um, you know, I'm carrying a live bait system. I've got big fish in the front, whatever the case may be. In the past, if I had some big fish up in the bow, I had to keep my bait tank full of water to keep that bow up when I'm coming in through the surf. Right. So now we've made this boat with an adjustable trim. I can just lift the seat and slide it in here, lock it down nice and secure so it, when it's locked in, it's really locked in. So you have a good stable locked in seat for when you're really paddling hard, punch and surf again. But the ability to change the seat position to adjust the trim of the boat, uh, I've paddled it with different loads on it and it's amazing what a difference this makes uh, in the paddle ability of the boat. So that's, that's cool item number one. Of course the new seats uh, the new Elite seat is much more comfortable than the old one. Comes with the Thermarest lumbar support. So I love that. I've got a bad back. This makes a huge difference in the comfort for me on the boat. So I'll just slide that, get it out of the way. This is the next really cool item. Um, you know, we are, like I said, we're live bait fishermen. Uh, we're big game fishing quite often. So we made a better solution, I should say. Uh, you know, back in the day, we were hanging a bait pump, or pump for our bait tanks, off the side of the boat. Right. It would bang against the side of the kayak. It would hang up in kelp. And there's drag. And, and there's, there's all drag that. and all that. So, so, so what are we looking at here? What so what we done? have here is a bait pump scupper. This pump doesn't come with it, but we just have it here to show. Uh, so it's a nice deep scupper going all the way through. That can just drop this bait pump in there, flip the switch, and it's primed. You know, there's some other bait tanks out there. You have to throw cups of water in there to get the thing going. This thing will prime itself sitting on flat water with absolutely no weight in it because we have this that low. Right. So it's a very simple conversion to just run some plumbing back here to the new K crate um, for the cracking crate. Um, so it's very easy to plumb this and we made this so you could do that. Um, the boat comes with nine pieces of Yak Attack gear track. So there's some up front, there's some on the hatch, there's a strong piece here. Uh, and then there's two along the sides. Great. Um, when we were first designing the boat, you know, I knew I wanted to have a bait system on here. 
uh, but I didn't want it to look like an afterthought. You know, I, if I was going to put a crate back here, I wanted it to be in there like it belonged. And more importantly, so people roll in the surf all the time, I want it to be secure. So we laid some gear track along the sides and made an attachment onto the side of the crate so it is locked in. Just screw it in there and this thing is going nowhere. Right. So a nice, solid, safe way of doing this. The beauty of it being on this track, if I'm not using the Plano tackle box right. that the boat comes with, Bring it forward I, so can, it I can slide it forward and yeah. trim it out. I can move this, if I've got my seat forward, I can actually flip this around, set it here, and slide it forward that way. So right. there's just a lot of options on how you can rig it um, as far as uh, you know, fishing the way you want. It comes with eight rod holders. So you have the ram tube here, the flush mount behind it, three on the J crate, and one more small one up front. So it is ready to go out the door to go get some fish. Jim, this has been a long anticipated boat. Yes. People have been waiting for this for a long time, right? I'm sure you've been waiting to release this for a long time. Yeah. When's it going to be ready and how much is it going to cost? It's going to be in production in September. Uh, when it's in actually market, I'm not 100% sure, quite honestly. Right. But, Sometime uh, after September. Hopefully exactly. Be, hopefully before spring. It, yeah, it's going to be soon. I mean, we, we're, we're so close to this. We have a couple very small items that we need to dial in, and then it's going into full production. Right, and without the accessories, the unit that it, as it comes, how much is that going to cost? The boat, as, it come, as you see it here, uh, without the GoPro and without the pump, everything else comes with this boat is $17.99. So, it seems a little bit higher than some maybe, but it also, like I said, it's got a lot of features that it's coming with. Jim Sammons, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your oh, show. Thanks, man. Scott McGregor here in the Jackson Kayak Booth at Outdoor Retailer for Rapid Media, hoping you paddle forever. Learn more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.